everybody. This is me, MC Gamer. Now tuned back on into your builds. So here we are on the the your build server. It is a populated server today. We have quite a few people on, and they are running uh, to and fro here inside our brand new build theme this month. Uh, we had a lot of very interesting themes the past three months, and I thought we should do something a little bit more wide appeal. Uh, so, so everybody on the year build server could get a chance to make something really cool. And so this we have a month that we're doing pixel art, which you can obviously tell. And people have been quite, uh, quite, quite, quite at work. So uh, let's let's take a look at what they've been doing. First off, I couldn't resist adding a little bit of Mother Three tribute in. And this is a course by the wonderful ZL Zelda Link 2013, who is on right now. So uh, shout outs to this uh, Lucas pixel art uh, from Mother Three. Lucas, is the sign necessary? No, it's not. We already know all about that. So there we go. You can see Lucas, and he is looking pretty darn good. Um, I really like the spray a lot, and it, it, they did a good justice. I really like the clay blocks. I'm really excited that, that the clay blocks have been added. It makes for better skin tones in builds uh, like this. Uh, so that's very good. Here we have a wonderful build. This one surprised me. I didn't expect it when I gave the theme. But this is the Super Mario Bros. 3 map from Boba 2007. This is, of course, the castle. And as you can see, it is a fully pixel art 3D build. When I said that we were doing a pixel art month, I expected a lot of flat things, kind of like the Lucas, no harm against the Lucas, but instead we got a fully realized 3D version of this of the cast from Super Mario Bros. 3, and it is just glorious. The use of the black is absolutely dead on, and I was so surprised. You can even see it has the interior, like inside the game. This is where the king gets turned into some sort of animal, and Toad is over here screaming, help, 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 Mario, help, help. Retrieve the magic wand, blah. And Mario's like, yay, yay. All right, cool. And it's just very good, just like the very subtle things like making the, the trees a little bit 3D like this by putting a few leaves on the exterior really make this build probably one of my favorite, probably the favorite build of this month. And I will take a screenshot of it right now for the wonderful uh, YouTube thumbnail. Here we go. There we go. Wonderful, beautiful. So many shout outs go out to Boba, who I believe is on right now. Let's see if we can find Boba's skin right over here. There's Boba right there. Hey, Boba, you did it. Wonderful. Woohoo! Yeah, there you go. Excellent. <laughs> Sparkles for you. Over here, we have Sephiroth, of course, from Final Fantasy. I don't know much about Sephiroth. I do know that he was never inside a 2D game, so I don't know if this is an original sprite or if this is actually a sprite from some sort of, like, spin-off game, but not inside a main series from what I understand. But, yeah, this is Sephiroth. And I really enjoyed this sprite, uh, mostly just because it takes a more, um, uh, compared to those first two builds I showed you, it's a more hardcore pixel art. Like, it, it has more texture to it. And it takes a lot of skill when you're doing, like, uh, I've done a lot of pixel art builds in the past. And just, like, going layer by layer, it takes a lot of patience to know, all right, skip, skip seven blocks or eight blocks here, skip eight blocks, then do this row. Make sure you get the blue. Don't forget about, like, like one block. So if you get one block off, it's not going to look the same as what people remember. And so they really did a great job in making this really nice and you can definitely tell it is Sephiroth uh, just from just from looking at it. So that's what I think is the best part. Because um, just imagine if this block was one off. Oops, sorry, I'm falling. That that little white there, it, would, it just wouldn't look the same. It would look really derpy. So I'm really excited that it turned out this well. Over here we have some choo-choos, of course, from the uh, Legend of Zelda. And let's see who made them. I believe it was indeed Disco Golf Girl. IRL. I don't know why it says IRL. It is Disco Golf Girl, who is not on right now. But Disco Golf Girl made these wonderful chew jellies. There are f five of them here. Uh, the different colors. We have a, a, a purple, a blue, yellow, red, and a green. And they're all they're all very similar, but I like I like them a lot. Uh, the use of the stained glass as a as a pixel art build is something that you don't see very often. A lot of people uh, they, they they'll they'll see a sprite like this guy is usually just yellow, so they they would use yellow wool. But uh, Disco Golf Girl had a little bit of inspiration. He used the uh, stained glass, which made it look a lot better overall. Uh, so many shouts to them. And I really want to give them shouts just because of the stained glass. That's a really great uh, idea. Speaking of the stained glass idea, here we have another build, I believe, from Boba. I could be wrong. Yeah, Metroid Sprite made from scratch. An entirely original Metroid uh, Sprite here. Uh, so you can see it. Uh, with the using the stained glass to kind of make sure that the 
uh, interior, like the brain core of the Metroid, I don't know if it has a technical term, I'm not a huge Metroid fan, uh, is, it looks like it's in the goop. It's in the goop that Metroids have, and I think it goes very well. Uh, I, was, I was very happy with that. The use of stained glass really makes me happy in pixel art, because you can give depth to it that you don't usually see. Over here we have the next pixel art, which is from our good friend Treehog200, who is on right now. Tree or 2000. Treehog2000, as it were, I'm sorry. And uh, I don't remember who this is. Is there a sign on top? There is, okay. Uh, it's from an anime. Uh, this is Ryuku Matoi from the anime Kill a Kill. Don't watch the anime if you're under the age of 13. From what I hear, she gets superpowers from doing something to her wrist. <laughs> Yay! Uh, that's at least what I've heard. So as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward sprite. Uh, I don't know if this is the original sprite, because uh, it is an anime, but I really enjoy it. Uh, my ankles look a little skinny, but I'm not going to fault it too much. Because I just really enjoy uh, the, the different use of the blocks to make it really come together. And the face looks really nice. I don't know why I like the face so much. But just like the subtle contrast with the eyes and everything, it, it gives it a nice serious look. You know, if I just did this, nobody would understand what it was. But if I went like this, people would probably get it. At first, I thought it was a rocket grunt, by the way. At first, I thought it was a rocket grunt with that uh, right there. I thought it was going to be an R, but I was mistaken. Here, I believe, is one more build from Boba, indeed. Boba has been knocking out with the, the castle, the Metroid, and this. I couldn't resist another Boba build. Uh, but look at Boba's piranha, piranha plant build. Uh, again, made from scratch. As you can see, the use of the 3D really is what makes, uh, sets us apart. So for all the people on the Your Build server, as you're going in to do your builds this week, take note of this beautiful 3D art style. It makes the pixel art genre really pop. Of course, you can see a 2D version over here, but it doesn't look nearly as good as the 3D version like this. It looks really nice, really makes it pop. Like the three different layers here, like how there's you can tell that this leaf is on a different side of the plant than this leaf which is why I think I really enjoy it. Uh, and the pipe, of course, looks very nice. So many shouts to Boba. Over here, we have a Snorlax. Snorlax, who's a good Snorlax? He's a very good Snorlax, and he has been made by da -ba -da -ba, Connor W, who is also on, I do believe. Wow, we have all the all the builders on today. Look at this. And so, it's a uh, well, why I want to give this uh, sprite shout is not because it's, it's enormously complex, it's because it's enormous in general. Um, so a lot of uh, width had to be taken up to make the Snorlax fit, because um, on the Your Build Store, we do have a set size for how big your plots are. Uh, so, being able to fit in a sprite like uh, Snorlax actually is, is a really good thing. Because people can make some really big things, which we'll see in a moment. Um, but it's not necessarily, you know, the same as being able to, like, just fit in a Snorlax Sprite. Maybe there was a Snorlax Sprite that was bigger, or maybe one that was smaller. But this one came out really good and really is accurate to the Pokemon. Uh, over here we have <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. You must be saying, MC Gamer, what the heck is this? Well, let's go take a look at the at the signs here, because there's a really wonderful story about this uh, from Linz. Uh Hey, I'm an art historian with a focus on contemporary art. I wanted to build an iconic art-related uh, pixel art. Specifically, I'm looking at Andy Warhol, a uh, pop artist famous for his depiction of popular culture. Uh, I'm foking, focusing on one of the building's most famous artworks depicting it, Marilyn Monroe. If you wish to look at the original work, please search for Andy Warhol, Marilyn Monroe, 1962. One of his many versions should show up. His most famous Marilyn screen print is known as the gold, his gold Marilyn, which was uh, shortly done after her death. Warhol had a fascination with celebrities, tragedy, and death. So a lot of his work will show repeated forms of death and other dark subjects. He uses this to help us become desensitized to these morbid themes. Hope you enjoy. So yeah, I, I was really in intrigued by that story, and it was an amazing pixel art, of course. Like, you can really see, uh, like, you can tell it's Marilyn Monroe, even just from, like, the second you see it. The farther you back up, the more clear it becomes, obviously. Um, but I was really, I was really happy with it, and I know that Linz put a lot of work into this. So where's, where's Linz? Is Linz uh, on the server right now? You know, let's see if Linz is down here on this, on this little, on this little. Oh, he's making fireworks! There you go, fantastic. Yeah, Linz is back there. Hey, and of course we talked to Linz last month uh, for her other build. Uh, so anyway, let's go take a quick look at Goku. Here's Goku. Say hello to Goku. From Saboteur Sam, Saboteur Sam builds this very iconic uh, Goku sprite, um, 
One thing that struck me was the use of the green, the green emerald as the as the uh, eyeball. Of course, when a Saiyan goes Super Saiyan, his eyes do become green, and that that was a very very, very iconic thing, and when I saw it, I was like, that's very interesting, and I love the uses of the different types of yellows, including the yellow stained clay, the orange, and everything. It really it really made it all come together, and I was really proud of Saboteur Sam, especially because I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. I've been watching the series over again recently, so I was like, okay, you know what? You've won me over with Goku. Speaking of winning me over, say hello to Majora's Mask, and this is by... Darkness Bride, who is not on right now. Darkness Bride, missing out on the party. But it doesn't matter, because Darkness Bride built this wonderful Majora uh, pixel art. This pixel art, I believe, is actually one that is, is quite public on the internet. Uh, but I, I was uh, very, very proud of them, because uh, doing a build like this with like so many different colors takes a lot of accuracy. Because if there was one block off, we would probably not know. But this one, I, I have, I've looked at it for a while, and there's nothing wrong with it, at least, at least from my untrained eye it's just perfect uh, so going each layer and like remembering all those different colors like you can see a good example is like right inside this row with the the the, the black white pink green yellow blue pink red yellow have all these different colors that you have to make sure you get inside the exact correct uh, configuration or else it just wouldn't have come together so well another great row example is right here like the double black red yellow green double black green yellow red or orange Double double black, red, black, white, triple purple. Like this is like knowing those numbers is just like very. It, it takes time, and that's why I really appreciate pixel art. Anyways, to finish off today's episode is this wonderful, absolutely great build. Let me see if I can find the tag right here to give some shout outs. Where's the tag? Where's the tag? I believe I believe I know who it was. It was uh, Roan Main. Roan Main. Where where's Roan Main? I think Roan Main is here somewhere. Ah, yeah, get off my lawn! <laughs> Roan Main is quite upset. Got all these people right here on my on, on the lawn. But Roan Main, that's wonderful. And I had a hard time considering it pixel art at first, but then I realized that it's definitely pixel art as much as the castle is over there. So this is a wonderful 3D Hylian crest with a Triforce in the middle and the Master Sword. Uh, so many shout outs to the Master Sword uh, here because it's, it's very accurate to the actual design of the Master Sword with very limited space. Like, you can definitely tell that this is where the gold jewel is, and you can tell it becomes a sword right back here. Of course, it's not completed because it's not meant to be looked at like this. It's meant to be looked at like this. It's really great, really wonderful, and I, I'm, I'm very happy with how good this came out. Uh, and the reason I want to show this off was a quick reminder to everybody that uh, there will not be your builds next week on the YouTube channel because I will be doing a Zelda Thon. And that is starting, of course, here Thursday, uh, July 10th. And we will be going for hopefully six days, depending on how much we raise for St. Jude Jones Research Hospital. Uh, so come on over to that and make sure you help support uh, a great cause and enjoy a great stream. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you would like to join the Your Builds crew, look at all these wonderful people. Look at them all. Yeah, if you want to join these people, you can go on over to the Patreon page. And for $5 a month, you get admittance to the server. Of course, there is more higher level tier rewards, which includes posters, mouse pads, and all the such a things. We have so many different uh, rewards. It makes me really happy. All right, so say bye to YouTube, folks. Wave. Yeah, yeah, wave. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Say goodbye. Wonderful, fantastic. Minecraft is such a dorky game, and I love it. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and hope to see you here on the Your Build server. Bye-bye!